Welcome to this video. Today, I want to give you some insights on how to succeed in your interview as a software engineer or for any software role. I am a hiring manager myself and I have interviewed a lot of candidates. And at the end of this video, I will also give you the things I'm personally looking for while interviewing people and what from my perspective, the most important things are to really be successful in an interview as a software engineer. Before I do that, let me introduce myself. My name is Florian. I'm a software engineering manager managing more than 100 software engineers globally. And trust me, I have been on the side of a hiring manager a lot of times. So I can share from my perspective what I think is the right preparation and what helps you to succeed in a interview. So let's get started. Before you actually have the interview, there is the research phase. You have applied to the job and maybe you already have gone through a phone screening or you're just in general preparing for the interview. One obvious thing that you should be prepared on as a software engineer is to solve coding problems, algorithmic problems, data structure problems in the interview. There are already a lot of videos out here. There are books you can read. There are websites like Leaf Code. So there is already a lot of opportunity out there to practice and there is no excuse not to do it. Even if you don't need that for the interview, there is a value in doing that because it makes you in general a better software engineer and programmer. The next thing that you should do in preparation is your research on the company. You should know what the company is doing. You should know the products the company is developing. You should also know about the team you will be working in. What will be the products there, right? So if you, for instance, apply to a company like, let's say BMW, right? You should know what area have you applied and will you develop automotive software? Will you develop entertainment software for the car? Will it be more on the embedded side of things? Or is it maybe a software engineering position that develops applications that are internally used in BMW, right? So those are things you need to know. Similarly, if you apply to Google, right? Have you applied to YouTube? Have you applied to the Gmail team? What is the area that you will be developing? And then, of course, if you know the product and the product is accessible, then you also should know the product. You should play with the product, right? For some, that's easier. So if you interview for a position in the Gmail team, sign up for Gmail, use Gmail, right? And just familiarize yourself with a product. If you apply at BMW for the autonomous driving systems, it might be harder to get your hands on the product, right? But there in general, you can also do some research on autonomous driving on um, what BMW is currently doing there. Hear some podcasts, right? About the products, read some interviews, things like that. The next thing, if you have the chance to do some research on the interviewers, that's always also a good thing. Sometimes when you get the appointment, the company will tell you who the interviewers will be. You can also ask, right? If um, they tell you, then good. If they don't tell you, then okay. And then of course, if you have the name, Google that name, check the profile out on LinkedIn, right? What do you find? And then look at what's their history and is there maybe something in common, right? Are they maybe interested in the same sports that you are interested in? Have they maybe gone to the same university that you went to? Or is there anything else that you can maybe use in the interview to build a connection? Apart from the research, another thing that you should do is practicing. 
interviewing is not a normal natural situation that we do every day right even if you have interviewed a lot of people like i have when you are the interviewee it always feels different you are nervous it's just normal but what really helps is practicing the interview situation before whether that's with mock interviews together with a friend or a colleague somebody you trust right it's also important that there is some confidentiality kept about where you're interviewing there are also sometimes possibilities to connect with people that work for the company and ask them whether they would be willing to do a mock interview if you have friends there that may be interviewed already for a position you can ask them to be your mock interviewer and of course if you don't have that possibility you can also just do that in front of a mirror or record yourself with your cell phone so that you can also play back and then listen to what you have said one other option that you can use is there are youtube videos that you can find where sort of the standard questions that are asked in specific interviews are asked and you can just listen to the question pause the video and then reply yourself important is while you are practicing this interview situation you have to speak out loud if you only do it in your head it doesn't count i also used to practice interviewing at the time when i interviewed in my car on my way to work so what are the usual questions that you should be prepared for well of course there is the coding questions the problem solving questions also there it helps a lot while you are practicing either with a book or with lead code or whatever you're doing is to speak out loud right talk about how you approach the problem talk about what are you doing there we will see why that's important later and then the second type of questions are usual behavioral questions mindset questions sometimes they follow the star method you can google or search for youtube if you want to find out more about that or i will put some links um, in the description below and those questions are like how would a co-worker describe you what are your strengths and weaknesses give an example of a situation where you had a problem and the steps you did to solve it what was your biggest challenge in your professional life this far what are you afraid of so those are um, typical questions that give the interviewer an insight about your mindset about your behavior and they're quite often asked another important thing and that's the last one for the preparation is prepare the questions you want to ask right during all the research that you did about the company about the product um, reading the job posting you will have questions right some will be answered while you're doing the research but some questions might remain is there a specific technology used is there an advantage of knowing a tool what tools are used in general things like that right they can also be technical but it's good to have a list of those questions prepared beforehand important though is there should not be questions that you can easily answer by googling right so the question should not be what products is your company developing right so so that that really is a question that nobody wants to hear in the interview so in the usual interview process you will apply you will then go through a phone screening and then the interviews will start sometimes there is a first interview just with hr sometimes the first interview is already with hr and the hiring manager sometimes there are multiple of those interviews that really depends on the company on the position and so on congratulations you finally made it to your in-person or online interview so what are things during the interview that you should do well first of all be honest and open important is 
the purpose of the interview is to find a good match for the company and to check whether the company is a good match for you. So if you are honest and open, if you be like you are, your usual self, then this works. If you lie or if you do things that you would not normally do, then it's hard to assess whether you are a good match or not because the person that was in the interview wasn't really you, right? So that's really important. Be yourself, be honest, be open. We already talked about that you should be prepared to solve coding problems or any problem solving things, right? During the interview. That's a standard test. Some companies use this to check whether you are really as good as your resume looks like, whether you really know the hard skills of software engineering. What I personally focus more on during these questions or during this problem solving asks is how do you approach problems? How do you react when under pressure, time pressure, right? And, and, and you don't want to give a wrong answer. And that's why I really like when people in those interviews take me through the steps that they do to solve the problems. They don't just spit out the answer because then I don't know, maybe they just knew it accidentally, right? Because they have read the same book with questions. So I really want you to take me through the process of problem solving. I want to listen to your thoughts, right? And that also really helps in case you're asked a question that you don't know the answer, right? You just start, okay, um, this is a hard problem. Not sure whether I'm able to solve it. The first thing that I want to do is this. And then I actually, I see this might be a good idea. And then we are here. So now we can do that, right? And that gives you the confidence that you can just solve it step by step. And the interviewer can see your thoughts. I was once in an interview asked a question that was actually an electrical engineering question which I haven't studied, right? I studied computer science. So I had no real way of knowing what I was asked for, but I used this technique to say, okay, that's how I have understood the problem. Um, this is what we could do. Um, not really sure because that's really not what I'm being trained for. It was also not really relevant for the position that I applied for, right? But uh, this really shows the interviewer how you approach those problems and gives an insight into your thought process. And I think that's important. And then of course, if you are stuck, if you really don't know how to proceed, how to solve the problem, please admit it. If you are lucky, then maybe you will get a different problem that you're able to solve. Right. But there is nothing worse than just sitting there for 10 minutes. If you got 10 minutes to do the task and then after those 10 minutes admitting, oh, sorry, couldn't solve the problem. No idea how to start because then the interviewer will think you will work the same way. So you will get a task. Let's say the task is for one day. And at the end of the day, in the next daily stand up, you will tell everybody, oh, I didn't know how to um, start the task. So I didn't do anything. Right. And I'm exaggerating here, but that's really the point of speaking while you are doing this problem solving. So now let's also come back to my favorite questions that I ask for and things that I'm looking for as a hiring manager. The first one is your motivation. Why do you want to work for this company doing this job? And you should have a convincing answer. It doesn't need to be, oh, this is my dream company. I always wanted to work for this company and this is really a job I would murder for. No, it doesn't have to be that. But there needs to be some reason for you to do this and not just, um, um, I found it on Indeed and, um, 
uh, your company has a reputation of paying well, so well, I, I, yeah, that, that's why I went for it, right? The other thing I'm looking for is genuine interest, curiosity, right? Is the candidate really interested in the company, interested in the job, interested in working here? Do I feel the curiosity? Do I see the fire in her eyes when she talks about what she did in the past and what we might be able to do here in the future together? That's perfect, right? When you really can see, well, this person is really interested in learning as much as possible about the job, about the company, and really is eager to work here. Then, of course, preparedness, right? You have to be prepared. You need to know what the company is doing. You should know at least a little bit about the product, a little bit about the team you are working for. You should be prepared and doing that. You should not need to ask what is the company developing? Where is your headquarter? How big is this company really? Is this an international company? Do you also have locations outside of this country, right? You should know those things. And then of course, during problem solving, is there logical steps? Does this person take me along while solving the problem? How does the candidate react when she or he gets stuck? Right. And um, if I give then a hint, how is it working? Right. If you have liked this video and want to take your software engineering career to the next level in 2022, then please subscribe to this channel. I will do more content like this on how to succeed in your software engineering career, how to become a better software engineer and also on how to become a software engineering leader, software engineering project manager, software manager. So please subscribe to my channel. If you have liked this video, please leave a thumbs up here. And of course, if you have questions, comments, if you have experiences about your interview situations, then please leave them down in the comments below. I will read them all and also answer them. And I see you in the next video.